Howdy folks, this is a reflection back from when I first started out here about a year ago and uh, these are going to be the videos that I took down but I'm going to rebroadcast them and this was one of the first ones when I first showed up out here in West Texas and this is even before I got to Redford and I'm just sort of reflecting on some art projects that I've had basically out here for over the years. Uh, hope you enjoy. Africa, San Marcos is, is here in a small desert town called Marathon. And in 2002, one of my adventures out to West Texas out in the desert, I got to set up in this place, this town. And uh, the guy who ran this gallery, just this little building attached to this gallery here, he uh, saw this thing I did and uh, he loved it and he thought it was funny and so he wanted to have a show with me and I basically asked him well, can I come and hang out in his barn there's a bar there used to be an old barn attached to this, this building but it got torn down so basically this what this building is is a is like a way station that used to be attached to this other like industrial building but they didn't know what to do with it and it's left it there so I asked James if I can convert it and make a <coughs> make like a tramp a tramp art chicken box with rooster heads on it and whatnot and I painted it all white and I put a little knots all the little decorative stuff around here I, I did on it and and so I told him I'd come back every so often and clean up and make it into a new sort of facility, you know. And uh, so uh, he agreed. And so every so often, whenever I make a trip out here, I always have to look, look over this place and ask, you know, how do you make it better? Now I got out here. <clears throat> See, James Evans is a photographer here. And I think it was in 2001 or 2002, you know, I, to, I was over at over Marfa, you know, and uh, I went over there to visit cause of the Chinaudi Foundation. They had this big hoopla, Chinati barbecue, Donald Judd stuff. And uh, I always thought it would be so funny, you know, because I'm just a spectator. I'm not really involved in all that kind of crap. But uh, I thought it would be really funny to set up on the side of a road somewhere going between Valentine and Marfa. Set up on the side of a road and have this cooler and have, have a little card table saying buzzard paintings for sale. And I'd sit there, and it was windy and stuff, and it was like out in the middle of nowhere. It's like you're driving, because all these people that were showing up to the Chinali barbecue, all these art aficionados, I knew they'd be really, one of the things that'd be really funny is seeing some, because, you know, they, a lot of people come out here to West Texas, they expect it to be like the Wild West, and be scary, and weird, and creepy, and redneck, and cowboy, you know, and so I thought, well, what the fuck, I might as well just go ahead and give them something that they would believe in, so when I was... Set up on the side of the road, a little card table with buzzer paintings. I'd sit there, and I'd see a car coming way off in the distance. I'd get closer and closer to me. I would sit there and be drinking a beer, and I'd lean back in my chair, and then I'd fall over and pass out, or like flaps on the floor, you know, right next to the road. And no one p pulled over, except for James Evan and the Border Patrol. And the Border Patrol wanted to know what the fuck I was doing, you know, like, hey, why are you out here? Are you, you know, delusional or something? But James went out there. He showed up, thought it was a right, took some photographs of the event. And uh, I set up in his barn, and uh, this is before I even had really internet access, and before I even had a, a cell phone, and, and then I just sort of winged it and said, well, I'm going to make 40 good paintings, and I had this three, maybe three months to do it, you know. And uh, man, Marathon was fun, because it's just like this little town, and uh, back in the old days, you know, it wasn't much here, you just had one or two bars, no one stayed open consistently, you know, it was hard finding beer, you know, and I was sitting in this old rusty barn, and all I needed was I had my music up crank top volume and I'd get some beer like tonight I'd be sweating and then I'd have already a whole slew of art projects there rotating them and just getting and it'd be always a little windy and you know at night it gets kind of ghostly like and you know so I made this body of work you know for the show that was going to happen in August and, uh, and a lot of the artwork that was left over from that show because a lot of it just sort of stuck in, was stuck in storage because James was going to sell it or do what he wanted with it and uh, so that all this hard work I'm just gonna I'm came here to get. I wanna start over and do a new body of work, so I'm gonna retrieve all this stuff and and then I'm gonna go in to talk about all the work, the paints I made back in that day, and I'm gonna set them out here in the out here in the desert and just talk about them and stuff and uh Yeah, but this was a place man. This is a really cool area, man, because I <clears throat> really enjoyed sort of being here. And it's kind of rustic and stuff. It created, to me, it was like a really good atmosphere, you know, to work in and uh, make stuff. And uh, I would say probably the most, you know, this being one of the most 
critical moments of, I guess, my painting history or whatever. You know, or my painting, or my history of my painting. I remember one time I was in this barn, and uh, I had like, used like techno music, you know, like break feet, break, had all this fucking music going on, and, and, uh, a dust storm, it was a night and you could, the wind was really bad and all the metal on the side of the barn was flapping along and I had some like techno trance, fat boy some chemical brothers thing going on and had this giant painting, it was all, I made paintings on shingles, you know, and I was sitting there and I was drinking, I think probably had a six pack of tall natties and just making myself all crazy and psychoed out, you know, and I thought, man, it can't, this is, this is the moment, this is like the, the shit, it doesn't get any more real than this, you know. And uh, I had a good time, and it was a uh, and the work I believe believe in the work. It was like some of the best abstract kind of work I was doing, kind of cartoony, abstract, goofy shit, you know. But which really became it really that the, all the work that I did in Marathon. I had to predict why Marathon is such a critical juncture in my art evolution. You know, because that the, all the work that was done in Marathon really became what I did on eBay. And all the work that I tried to solicit and sell off eBay, all the, I, I, I sold like over you know, 500 objects, art objects off eBay. With the rapid sort of crazed, free associative type of painting that I like to do, it really started here in Marathon under a real tight time constraint because the look of everything, even though I spent a lot of time on it, right now, entirely where you think you can improve shit, you know? It's really about improving yourself.